groundbreaking. Um, I would invite everyone to Lola Minaka and a very good morning to you all. I'm delighted to be here today as we celebrate a project that marks the beginning of a new era of prosperity and empowerment for the Itauke people as we break ground on the first ever government funded development of Itauke land. The first ever development, government funded development of the Itauke land. The motivation for this project along with that of so many others that my government is carrying out across our islands, is rooted in my deeply held belief to assist all Fijians without discrimination and recognize the ability and ingenuity of all citizens. All over Fiji, we have people, men and women with limitless potential, who simply need the means to find success the means to build better life for themselves and uplift those around them to do the same. This is the vision we are working to realize for every Fijian. Yesterday, I was giving out microfinance grants to about 500 people, about 600 people, to assist Fijians to participate in small businesses to better themselves in their lives and today we are here to assist Itauke landowners to directly capitalize from their land ownership. This afternoon, as I have said, I will also attend a similar groundbreaking ceremony for three other developments in Bunda, in Soweni, and Wairambitia. Three more this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, the Itauke people today operate from a position of strength unraveled by any other time in our history. The land and rights of the Itoke are protected and enshrined for all time in the Fijian constitution, the supreme law of the land that governs every action of my government. Of course, in the midst of such protections and achievements, we've seen time and again the usual suspects in the opposition go through the same tired charade of spreading fear and spinning lies, all in the attempt to deceive the Itauke people to further their own political and personal ambitions. But ladies and gentlemen, the fact speaks for themselves. And the fact is, not one inch of Itauke land has been lost under my government. And today, around 91% of the land in Fiji is owned by the Itauke. Never have the Itauke been more secure Never before have they had more opportunity to improve their lives and the lives of those around them. And never before have young Itauke men and women had a better shot of realizing their dreams and aspirations for the future. Indeed, never before have all Itauke people been treated equally amongst themselves. My government assists all Itauke people equally in providing government service and assistance we don't make a distinction between chief and commoner. All Itauke people are also entitled to the rights my government has always fought for, fought to uphold for all Fijians, including the right to and access to free education, scholarships, tertiary education loans, and access to roads, water, electricity, subsidized bus fare, free water, and subsidized electricity, to name a few. But even with these uh, unprecedented guarantees, my government wanted to do more. We didn't, we didn't only want to protect the ownership of Itauke land and the rights of the Itauke. We wanted to do one better by providing a solid foundation for growth that would empower Itauke people. And that is what this, is, this project is all about. Itauke people in Fiji have long faced the issue of being asset rich but cash poor. Of course, one of the reasons this has been is because the politicians of the past, and some even today, politicized land ownership. 
rather than assisting Itauke people to benefit economically and financially from the land ownership, they simply did nothing about it. Rather than telling landowners that if they develop the land themselves, and they will not only become cash rich, but also create more wealth and opportunities for the country, they sought to look after themselves. I'm here to tell you that my government thinks differently. We want you to realize benefits from your land. We want you to become more economically and financially powerful. We want you to lease your land for long-term leases and then get the right rental paid for it. And we will, as we are doing today, give you the funding to develop your land so you will do precisely that. My government is a practical government. We know that many land-owning units don't have the upfront funds to carry out such developments. I also know that because of the non-availability of such funds, many land-owning units were vulnerable. Vulnerable to interest with far deeper, deeper pockets that ought to, that sought to lease their land, add value through capital investment, and make a killing, leasing that same land out to other parties. Through this initiative of my government, that will no longer be the case. We will build the roads and connect your subdivision to water, to electricity, so you can directly sell the leases yourself to make a financial gain. The, sub the subdivision project at Indua is one of the first four projects to benefit under this grant, with the development of 13 residential lots at a total cost of nearly $2.5 million. When you lease this land, after the development is completed, it will benefit every Fijian. It will benefit you, the landowner as a developer. It will provide economic opportunities to small and medium-sized businesses in this area. There will be more construction, thereby providing more jobs. And it will give confidence to investors to invest more through security of 99-year leases. This subdivision will create more economic opportunities for Fiji and for all Fijians. I'm very excited to watch this land develop and serve the people of Yendua and many more Fijians in the years to come. To the people of Yendua, this is your land today and will, will be your land for all time. Take this opportunity to make the best possible use of what is yours and build something that will support your community for generations. Now,